All right, guys, welcome to the Mountain Man Initiative. So today you're here to learn about how to do a smog delete on your 318 TBI without upsetting your engine, potentially pissing off the old computer that's been in here for 31 years or longer, who knows, um, for your make and model. So I'm gonna give you the rundown of the engine, where everything's at, how the smog pump is laid out so you could properly delete it. So let's start with why do you delete a smog pump? So first off, you delete the smog pump, which is right here, this guy right here, underneath your radiator hose. Um, because back in the day, we didn't have the engineering we did, so the smog pump just absolutely just killed the engine and its fullest potential. Two, you're replacing the headers. Three, you're also straight piping this thing because your cat's gone, or going out, which is my problem, so she's choking a bit. Which happens to all of us. <laughs> and it's gonna, you're gonna lose power, She's not going to get up and go like she used to. You know, that's what kind of why we're getting rid of it. And losing some weight off the engine and making her look nicer and happier. Hey, can't complain, right? Especially when she was designed without it. So let's go with where the computer's located. So your computer's located here behind your battery right there where that white tag is. The little white box. That's where she's hiding. Again, your smog pump. Plump. Smog pump is right here. Then you got your AC compressor right here. Then you got your alternator. And then down here, your water pump. So you got kind of oriented. And then obviously, this is your air intake into your air filter and box. And then down through the throttle body injection. That's kind of how everything's laid out. So now, you're probably wondering, all right, cool. I already knew this, or I didn't know that. Hooray, I learned something. Now, how are these pipes laid out? So at least I know where they're at and kind of what to do. All right, for this overview, let's start with getting over to that point so we'll pop this big boy boy off here get it out of our way or just entirely take it off that works too and we're gonna come over here scooter over so right now we got this pump this is your smog pump and then you got this belt it drives the system it helps scavenge whatever the hell it's supposed to scavenge and burn it off you know reducing emissions from my understanding I could be completely wrong anyways so this pump has a direction of flow, which is in crucial to know, especially if you're an engineer or you know how this thing is working. So the air goes this way through here and it wise off of this pipe and, and to the headers like that. So one on this side, then one on the other. And then it's a lower PSI I've noticed. It's not as high as this side. This side, the pump, pushes air for sure this way i do know that it's strong it's a good pulse and then it's going to come up and over through here and then it's going to go underneath and then it's this guy right here then it tees off with this valve and then it runs off back to your cat and i'm right now i'm going to insert some photos so you can see how it where that y is and how it's mounted to the back of the headers and how it's welded into the cat starting now Photo one. Photo two. Photo three. Photo four of the cat. All right, now since you saw kind of where everything is, do note on the headers, there's a bolt that bolts that piping on from there and that's how you keep it stays on now if you're on a budget and don't have the new headers yet or have the money to get headers ordered and you need to do it because like i said you're straight piping it or got the cat going out and you just need to do something now and not spend 300 dollars when you can spend 30 i know saves a lot money more money this way what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up plugging this system so you either plug it here with a plug of some kind or drilling and tapping behind the headers and doing it from what i've learned from other guys who've done smog deletes on earlier 80 miles with the carb now when you do the delete you got to be cautious because there's something you need to know i discovered this earlier trying to figure this out for you guys so i could properly explain it and teach y'all this smog pump plays a crucial feature in the pulley alignment this thing will squeal like a pig it does suck and I'm going to show you how awful it is 
when that belt's not on from earlier. So with that being said, keep it on there until you find a pulley, you know, something that you could do, like an idler pulley or something, I don't know. There is a serpentine setup you can do for this. I did find it on Summit at one point. Um, kind of pricey, but hey, it's a wonderful upgrade if you could do it, um, which probably solves that problem entirely. Not entirely sure. I don't have the money to tell you. Um, so that way that will stay there for now, and then that system is plugged. But when you do the cat delete, this whole pipe right here, right here, all the way back, goes with the cat. Just completely goes. Um, I don't recommend plugging it because, it, like I said earlier, it's high pressure coming out of here. It is really, it kind of makes a funny noise, but I'd much rather hear that than the belt squeal. I'll tell you that for sure. Um, maybe you're lucky enough where your belt doesn't squeal, but at the same time, I don't want to damage the pulleys or anything else and have a dead motor because something broke. <laughs> um, other than that, that's the general overview, kind of how everything is laid out so you know where is where, what is what, and kind of why it does what it does. With that being said, thank you for watching. Look out for part two. I hope to have it done before Christmas since Thanksgiving is this week so i gotta edit this video and get it out to you guys other than that check out these funny bloopers for me dorking off earlier trying to figure this out for you guys from the fan hitting my finger from me just messing with the intro other than that thank you guys for watching and have a good time so let's go ahead and see what happens if we just take this vacuum line off right here and prove yet welcome to the melt man initiative where we're going to cover this 318 tbi <laughs>